my name is Musa. Uh, I'm from Mali, West Africa, and I've been in the U.S. for four years now. I studied English in Dubai about three years. Three years, okay. Yeah. No, I did not. I only, I learned English in Dubai Global, and I went through all. I studied English in Dubai Global. I took a TOEFL uh, <coughs> at Dubai Global when I was here, and I. Study with GRE and GMAT uh, here at Nomen Global. I took both classes and they were successful classes. Good. I really like them. Good. Uh, I only knew the basic how to say, hey, how are you? Good morning, and things like that. Wow. Uh, when I came here, my original goals were to. I had only one goal, I mean, that's to come to the U.S. to get my master's, and I'm almost there. <laughs> so I, now I learn English, and I was able to pass both tests, and TOEFL, and GRE, and I'm on my way to grad school now. I, I will study on my own every day. I will go to the library and study about couple hours every day. On the weekends I would study three to four hours at the library and that's how I prepare myself. Yeah, oh, yeah I, I have my bachelor in business management. I got it in Mali. Okay. So I graduated in Mali before I came to the United States. Cool. It was a challenge for me first because I had to pass both tests and make sure I I, I will. I, I had the requirement down, which were to pass the GRE with a certain level of score and get the TOEFL, uh, pass the TOEFL about with a, uh, a score uh, about eighty three uh, on an on a base test, and I had to study a lot. So I would say that it was a good experience. I plan to go back to to Mali and work for my government once okay. I get my my MBA program my MBA program done and I get a job there. I'll tell them to do their homework and <laughs> do their own study and just study on their own. Uh, outside of global they have to make sure they they practice English often, not speak their native language. Just, that will help them more than they imagine. Okay. Okay. Perfect. Thanks so much.